This is using Google Forms to create a survey. So first thing you want to do is um, name your survey. Okay, and then click here after you add your title. So it, and it will automatically put your title up there. So to create a new question, I click the plus. And first I'm gonna start off by asking for their name and contact information. Um, so as you can see, it automatically uh, switched to short answer. I'm gonna collect first and last names. And again, you can see how it um, automatically switched to short answer. Uh, a few things down here, you can delete this if you don't want a last name, if you just want a first name, for example, or if you want to duplicate this, and if you want to collect middle names as well, I don't know why, but uh, you can duplicate the question if you have a similar question coming up next. You can also make this required. So for example, if I'm sending these to parents, I want them to be to absolutely uh, put in their first and last name in order to um, before they can finish. So I'm going to create another question for email address. Again, it switched automatically to short answer. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add another question for And again, it automatically switched to a scale, which is what I want. So this is uh, number one. Uh, so for number one, I want to give them a guide, so not at all. And for five, okay. And then I'm going to add another question. Uh, and I need to switch this one to a multi, uh, to a short answer because I just want them to write in um, what they want. I guess this could be a multiple choice. If I actually had a class right now that this could apply to, I could put uh, several different options. And that can also be made a checkbox if you want them to select more than one. But, um, okay, and next. Uh, here you can add, uh, so I want them to send me a picture. So I'm going to add change this to file upload. And all files uploaded to form owner's drive. Okay. And then maximum file size, it's going to be a picture, so it should be pretty big. Uh, one gig is probably really big for, too big for a picture, but you can also change the maximum number of files. Yeah, and that's that's it. Just I'll just keep adding questions until I'm done, and then when I want to send it, I click send right here. Put in their email address, put in the subject, and then type a message. Um, after after I type in the email address, I'll be able to click include in the e email, and that's really handy because. Uh, they can, they'll be able to fill out the form right in the email. Uh, if I wanted to, I could also embed this in my blog, um, or I could just email uh, the link out. 